Tutorial. I will show you how to install Odo 12 on Ubuntu 19.04. First, we must update and disupgrade. So let's uh, take uh, the first command and open terminal. And let's uh, paste. So do not worry, you will find all of uh, those commands on the description of the video. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and comment. You can also support us uh, on Patreon. You will find the link on the description of the video. And now after the update, let's uh, take uh, the next command. Let's copy. So this will install git python3 and uh, other uh, dependency needed. Yes to continue. Okay, let's continue. Let's clear before. And now let's uh, take uh, the next command. Let's paste. And yes to continue. And waiting. And take uh, the next command. And uh, yes, I want to continue. Okay, now let's continue. Let's uh, install a WQ HTML to PDF. So let's copy the command. This will download and let's uh, paste. And it start to download, uh, so please wait. Okay, now let's uh, install. So let's uh, extract uh, before. So no need to install it, just uh, we, we need to copy this uh, under the user slash bin. Copy is done. And clear. And now uh, let's create user for Odo 12. So let's copy the command. And then uh, let's install uh, Postgres SQL. I think there's problem. Let's copy this. Yes, to continue. And uh, try again. And yes, I want to continue. And uh, it starts to install uh, Postgres SQL. And waiting. Okay, after install uh, Postgres, uh, let's continue. Let's uh, now. Uh, Create new user Odo 12. Let's clear. And then uh, let's switch to this user. So Odo 12. And now let's clone uh, Odo 12. from the official uh, git uh, hub of odo waiting for cloning into opt slash odo 12 slash odo so we had uh, just uh, install uh, postgres and then create new user call it odo 12 and then switch to user odo 12 and then git clone uh, odo to this directory slash opt slash odo 12 slash odo and now waiting for the download for uh, git clone okay after uh, git clone for odo let's uh, continue 
Now let's uh, prepare Python requirement. So cd slash opt slash auto 12. And let's copy the first command Python 3 venf uh, auto venf. And then let's activate the environment uh, Python. I mean the virtual environment Python. Now we see Odo Venf is activated. So let's uh, install requirement and the uh, dependency needed and waiting for collecting setup tools. Let's take the next command. And this is FPDF. So please uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and comment. And if you need support for Odoo, you can ask us. Okay, let's uh, take the next command. And waiting for installation uh, so this is a babel and this is uh, the version so babel is needed uh, for Odoo okay let's continue so uh, this uh, command uh, Odoo requirement.txt uh, it, it, re it replaces uh, all of uh, this so we, we don't need to use this now now let's deactivate uh, the, the environment uh, Python and uh, back to the normal mode so deactivate and now we back to the sample user okay let's continue so uh, se auto 12 we are we are already with the user auto 12 so no need okay now let's create uh, custom add-ons uh, the path for, uh, this is uh, the path for the folder which contains the custom add-ons if you wanted to add your custom add-on, so copy and paste and then exit to back to the normal user so log out and let's uh, edit uh, this I mean the odo 12 conf we can uh, copy this So uh, this is uh, the DB user, the add-ons path, and uh, to save the, and the change the admin uh, password, I will uh, give it false now. But to secure your database, give a password. Okay, to save control plus X and uh, yes, I want to save. And then uh, let's uh, make auto run as service. Let's uh, copy the command. And uh, we can use uh, these uh, lines. Let's copy. So this is uh, the execution start. I take uh, the opt odo12 odo uh, slash bin slash uh, python3 for uh, the python dependency. And this is uh, the odo bins which execute. And this is uh, the odo conf which we had create. And uh, Let's uh, save. Ctrl plus X and yes, I want to continue. And then uh, let's uh, make it run uh, every way when, when you when you open your PC. Let's run it now and enable it. And we can check the status. So Odo 12 is running on uh, this port. And uh, that's all. Uh, 
now let's uh, run auto twelve open your uh, browser and then run uh, localhost uh, plus uh, the power localhost or your domain IP so localhost and the port so here it is asking for master password we must uh, edit nano auto count and admin password let's uh, make password if you wanna false you, you can uh, comment uh, like this or uh, delete it but let's uh, create admin password empty software db so do, do not make uh, easy password well, let's take it and save I forget to open with the sudo and yes I want to save now let's uh, restart uh, Odoo service Okay, master password I had give it you can see it the password to text and the database the name empty soft email I will give admin and password for the user admin phone number no need language English country no need and create database update so it asked me for master password because I had uh, I had to give a master password on the Odocon but if you don't uh, wanna to use master password just uh, drop it or command it or give a command okay so this is Odo 12 so this is Odo 12 community edition so this is the end of the video thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and comment goodbye